She's a real woman with a real life. She's someone you can relate to. Dawn Newton. To the Don Newton podcast. I am your host, Don Newton. Joining me today is NBA legend Kenny Smith. As the new host of season three of the Emmy nominated series Harlem Globetrotters Play It Forward, this former NBA star and current TNT sports commentator shares highlights from the new season showcasing the Globetrotters' positive and lasting impact on local communities. Kenny also shares the impact the Globetrotters have had in his life. Hey, Kenny Smith, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. It's great to talk with you. I love um, not only just talking with you, Kenny the Jet Smith, your career history, but also what you're doing now as being the new host for season three of the Emmy-nominated series Harlem Globetrotters Play It Forward. Thanks for this opportunity. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You know, and just doing the research on you, Kenny, and and your history with the Harlem Globetrotters, you know, that in and of itself is a story, but I just, I know my history with the Globetrotters is just being a spectator and just remembering, I mean, I think somebody deemed them the, you know, celebrated as ambassadors of goodwill. I just remember it was just such a give back and fun and laughter. And I always felt like they were magic because the way that they moved on the court and the things they did and the humor and then realizing they've been around for almost 100 years. It's pretty amazing. Oh, more than amazing. And like you said, I have a long history. When I was 11 years old, I won a shooting contest, free throw contest. They shoot free throws at Madison Square Garden (laughs) from the 19,000 for Curly Neal when he got injured. And I had knocked down the free throw and probably one of my biggest sports moments ever uh, at 11 years old. Went on to always be involved with the Globetrotters in different capacities uh, when I was an NBA pro because they actually worked out in Houston and had their training camp when I was a Houston Rocket. So I've always been associated with the the, uh, franchise, the most iconic franchise in, in sports arguably. They have everything that you can imagine and all of the things that they do off the court. And they're not the U.S. trotters. They're the globe trotters. They've been everywhere and been the ambassadors for this game far beyond a dream team. They have been the first people who would, you know, most people outside of the United States had seen play basketball live. Well, that's just it, is is, is that it is worldwide. When you say globe trotters. I mean, that's definitely the definition of what they're all about. And then realizing they've been in existence since 1926, that just kind of sent me back a little bit. Like, I need to do a little more research here and on the ori- the origins of the globe trotters. But, you know, they're so iconic. What, what do you think that staying power is? Well, I think the staying power is, you know, even when I first started playing basketball, before the NBA was what it is today, you know, you wanted to be a showman. And a showman is what the Globe try to stand for. They're the, they're the best showman that's ever existed. So a lot of the things that they do, we wanted to play like and have been put into a real game. Um, uh, and, and we just couldn't at the time because people would say you're too fancy. And now... If you look at what the NBA is now, it kind of bleeds what the Globetrotters were and how it started. So it's always been it's always been that. And me now being the host of Play It Forward on NBC Saturday mornings, I'm excited because this is what everyone, the staying power comes from being the greatest showman in basketball that's ever existed. And I think that's one of the, the pieces about the Harlem Globetrotters that we don't necessarily realize or see enough of is, is, is the give back and what they do for the communities that they're involved in. And these stories that are that we're going to be watching, and, and this is season three. The stories just really humble you and kind of take you back to ground zero. One hundred percent, because you know most things happen. You know, you have a Pro Bowl, you might have an All Star game. Those things come to your town, and then they pretty much they leave. The Globetrotters come to your town, and they leave something back that always will be sustainable and always there by all of the community events that they do surrounding it, and prior to it, and afterwards. So again. Very unique uh, and very um, uplifting when you think about the Globetrotters, the Harlem Globetrotters, and what they do. And tell us about some of these stories. What are we going to be seeing season three? Well, we got some upcoming things coming up. It's, we're already in progress, but we, um, we have uh, a great thing where the guys go out to homeless shelters and they give free haircuts to, to the homeless. Then there's also, we visit a music conservatory that flee from the Red Out Chili Peppers owns, and we take kids into there. They take kids into there and teach them about music through sport and have a great 
a great time learning. So all of these things kind of happen throughout the season. And like I said, it's not the U.S. Globetrotters, it's the Globetrotters. So it's all over the world. And I think the one episode that really, you know, really humbles and touches you, and, and I mean, all of them do in various ways, but the Camp Sunshine episode with working with children that are seriously ill or even some terminally ill and just what those players walking in and what that has done for those children. I mean, that you can't put a price on that. Well, the Globetrotters bring their light to anyone and they, they don't change. It's funny because I told uh, a couple of them, I said, if I see you, uh, <laughs> You, ladies and gents, and I say ladies and gents because it's the only co-ed sports franchise in the world. Uh, when I see you guys, I don't know if it's 3 in the afternoon or 3 in the morning. You guys have the same energy, and which is astounding, and which is so much fun. And that's what, when they went to the uh, with Sunshine Kids, you, you got to see. And I'm curious too, Kenny, in, in doing this work with Harlem Globetrotters Play It Forward, and these stories, and traveling around and seeing what you're seeing. I mean, with with your career, NBA champion, commentator, all of the things that you've done, I can't help but this isn't maybe create a full circle for you, or what that's been like for you seeing these stories and being a part of it. Yeah, it definitely is full circle because a lot of times, as, as a, a professional athlete, they don't cover what you do off the court. They only cover what you do on the court. So this gives me a, a remembrance. This also gives me a great feeling. It also makes me say I need to step my game up in my own community by watching what the Globe try to do. Uh, and that's what Play It Forward is all about, the show. And what does this mean to you? How does this compare to being a commentator and a player and all of that? Does this Is this separate from any of that? Or is it all combined and it's, it's uh, just this cohesiveness? I mean, it's combined in certain degrees, but this is separate uh, because I'm not covering X's and O's. I'm covering what people do, what the, what the Globe try to do in terms of their goodwill, uh, which I very rarely get a chance to do on any other platform. So this is just an, an, uh, a great vehicle for me. Uh, it's a lot different, and I love to see these stories personally. You know, and the Globetrotters are on tour. They're going to be coming to Oregon as well. Are we going to see you on the court with them at all? You know, it would be limited. <laughs> you know, it would be limited. It, would, it, it might be in more of a coaching capacity and then in some of the timeout capacity, but never <laughs> on the court. Those days are over. Like full time. No, those days are over. <laughs> I think there might be a challenge coming there. Um, yes, indeed. <laughs> when can we watch and where can we watch, Kenny, the Harlem Globetrotters play it forward? Well, if you, it's on NBC uh, Saturday mornings. Just check your local listings for time. Play it forward Saturday mornings on NBC, and it will be there. Well, again, I appreciate this time and this work and the message. It's It's been an honor speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for listening to the Don Newton Podcast. And a special thank you to my guest, NBA legend, Kenny Smith. Harlem Globetrotters Play It Forward airs weekend mornings as part of NBC's The More You Know. And be sure and check out their website, harlemglobetrotters.com. The Don Newton Podcast is written, produced, and hosted by Don Newton. Oh,